Hey everyone, so it's post Christmas, New Year is coming up and I thought I should just, you know, clean up my books from my last video. Um, today I also got this, so I'm gonna, you know, set this up. So my problem is, um, my bookshelves are getting pretty full and I don't have anywhere to expand really. So that's why I've got the cart. I'm not gonna make it a TBR cart because then I just foresee a lot of shuffling around on my shelves to pick out the books from my TBR and put it on the cart and then put them back on the shelves and reorganizing when there's not much room to shift things around. So I'm just gonna create it as an extension of my shelves and yeah so while I'm putting this cart together and putting these books away I thought I'd do a bit of a bookshelf tour as well because I haven't done that yet I don't think um yeah and another thing I will mention before getting into reorganizing everything and I am sweating currently because I went outside to buy the cart and it's like 30 degrees celsius don't know what that is in fahrenheit but it's kind of hot it is summer it is to be expected but it's not fun especially because I will be going around these shelves and maybe getting very hot while doing so. Um, also, when I when we first got these shelves, we got them second hand and one of the shelves came, came with a whole box of books and majority of them were fantasy and at the time I was like, nah, get rid of them, don't like second hand books. Not that, I don't think I was into like, hardcore fantasy at that point I was more just YA fantasy but um lately things have been shifting I've been like well I'm poor <laughs> can't keep spending money on books so the second hand thing has shifted so I, last night I re-went through this box that I've had for ages that I've been meaning to take to a bookstore to donate but I haven't had the chance. Um, yeah, so I went through it again last night and I picked out a stack of books that I've decided to keep. So while it's very difficult for me to do a reorganization of these shelves, there's gonna be some shifting around so I can put books on the cart and then these will end up on the shelves. Um, if all works out well. Wish me luck and I hope you enjoy this video. Ah, give me one. 
well, not even a screwdriver head anyway. Um, should be it. Okay, right. First step. So once I've done this, okay, I don't know if
that's my car. Glad that took like two seconds. Not really. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna set that over here for now. Time to start putting books away. Ah, first, no. I'll put books onto here. Brain is not working. Okay, box will stay there for now. Ow. Okay, so I've basically just taken the books on my shelves that are just stacked in front of other books. Um, so no fear for it to um, fall off now. So I think I'm just gonna put them on this shelf here in the middle. Um, these are two novellas, short stories, I don't know. Um, this is a short story collection. Do I want the whole cover on the back? Okay. Yes. So, um, I expanded the shelf of my YA fantasy slash other fantasy. I think it's majority YA fantasy. Oh, I'm not too sure. Ah, oh, I've got Nevernight here, so it's not YA. Um, yes, so I think, what do I want to do? I think so. Okay, so I'm going to put Jay Kristoff and um, Amy, Amy Kaufman, yes, down there, um, put Dark Dawn there. So we have tall books next to each other, yay! They were so, um, they didn't look nice on the shelf, so I'm glad it goes well here. And then we got Nevernight there. Um, what else should I put there? Oh, you can't even see it, okay. This is what I mean by it looks nice with tall books next to each other. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, just fall down. Okay, I think I'm gonna also put some of my trinkets that I've got up on my shelves in here because honestly, there are so many that it's um, taking over. So on my shelves, I also have an insane book mark collection. I don't know how, I think it's more just from, you know, book depository giving you one, at least one with each purchase. There was one time they gave me like four, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I've got a big collection here. So I'm taking that off the shelf and just putting it on the top one for now. Uh, what do I want to do with my rest? Okay, I think I might put, yes, I think I want to put my Mirror Visitor books down on the bottom as well because on the instructions it said put the heavier items on the bottom and I think bigger books constitutes as heavier items. Um, and then I've got Uprooted, Spinning Silver, Darker Shade of Magic, Linear Witch up here with the bookmarks. For my birthday, my lovely friend gave me Great Goddesses and I've been eyeing it for like months now. I probably since its release and didn't realise it was its release um, because of honours because I have to do, I, I feel like I have to read everything relating to Greek mythology now for honours. So this is just perfect, but at the same time, I love Greek mythology anyway, so it's the perfect give. The little sneaky, I don't even know how to put this, that's a nice. Um, let's just go with sneaky shit and leave it, leave it at that. Um, she got me this. Like, look how amazing the cover is as well. Um, yes, so thank you. Also, screw you because you kind of lied to me, but 
I'll put it here. Next to the other hardcover. Um, and then what I bought myself that day as well. Oh, I have to still take the stickers off. Yay. Um, which one did I put it in? For my birthday, I got my sister to give me a book voucher. Great. A book voucher um, because next year, as much as I need to try not to, I need to buy a lot for honours. Okay, so I'll start from the top. This is where I keep my middle grade slash children fic and novellas because I don't have enough of each genre to be on one of the larger shelves. So yes, it's kind of a miss, mismatch of everything. Um, so I pulled these books down. I think that's all as far as I know. Um, yeah, so let's try and put them back. I've pulled something out of. No, I haven't. No, I, I borrowed a book out. The, the, I lent it out. Um, this shelf is a mixed mesh shelf because, again, I, these are genres that I don't have enough of to have on their own. So half of these are actually my sisters. All of these from here to here, they're my sisters. The rest they're either genres that I have but don't know of because I haven't read these books yet. So they're just there or they're books that I don't have places for. I suppose I can take these two off now because I've, on my shelf, I've got, um, on my cart I mean, I've got short stories slash novellas. So I'll put these two, which is Convenient Store Woman and Bright, both translated works, onto the sh cart. So I'm just gonna like lean down like this because I don't think I could kneel and be in the shot, but not in the shot anyway, like this. So my next two shelves are YA, I'm pretty sure, like contemporary YA. I think that's the the genre, I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's a mix of everything. I don't know if that's YA or if it's just flat out romance. But again, when you have limited shelf space, you kind of just chuck everything onto your shelves. Um, yeah, so those are those two. Net going down. Need to move the tripod again. <sighs> Somewhere along the way, I forgot that I was also supposed to be cleaning out all the books that I have taken out, so you know, doing that now. And so these bottom two shelves here are more mismatched ones because it's just the theme with this bookshelf, kind of. Um, so these are kind of like witchy books, like there's literally like guides on being a witch, I think, but they're mainly my mum's. I've just looked at them kind of for research, kind of out of interest. It's, um, yeah, I just, I keep them. Um... Then I think these here are kind of like my non-fiction reads, some of them, not all of them. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just, it's just what I have there. Um, these are more like reference books for drawing, not that I draw. I just think they're really pretty, so like, some of these were, um, my parents but there have been a few where I've gone and found them in like um thrift stores because like look how pretty something like this is and so 
I've bought them kind of for journaling, kind of for reference drawing, I don't know. But like look how pretty some of the drawings are, so it's why I've got these. And since we're down here, I'll just move the tripod over. We'll do these two bottom shelves. These ones are more reference non-fiction books. So I've got dictionaries. Um, where? Where have I got dictionaries? I've made myself a liar. Um, this is an old dictionary, I'm pretty sure. There were more dictionaries, I swear. Um, some of these are like printouts from uni redo. <laughs> uni reads um got some high school reference books so like english notes revolution notes um i've actually got some fiction down here and that's because i don't have a place for them but now i'm realizing that they could have gone up with the children lit stuff but they're down here and that's how it will stay for probably a while until i absolutely do need to reorganize everything um, and then it's just other books that I've somehow been given and collected over time. So like, this book is, this book is German. Don't know why I have it. Yeah. Then here I've got my classic shelf. Um, so anything that's like at least 30 years old and considered a classic so I don't even know how old this is it's probably much older than 30 years um has vintage on it uh, first published 85 so that's like 40 would that be 40 now would be 40 this is 40 years old now Anyway, these are books that are either genuine classics like um, Mark Twain or Jules Verne and old books or P uh, books that have been dubbed classics. It's a mishmash shelf of that stuff and I've pulled out two books. I think this one was here. <laughs> Caught it. <clears throat> Dahl, D D D D D D D D Dickens, D A. You know what? I think that was up in the children's lit, so I'm gonna take that out. And put those back. Um, Fitzgerald, F, 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 D, G. Right, I think that's all for that one. Time to go up. So the next two, um, pretty sure this is dystopian. I haven't touched this shelf for a very long time. Um, I'm fairly sure it's dystopian. I've got some paranormal, no, not paranormal. Is it paranormal? It's, it's vampires. It's a vampire book. Um, yeah. <clears throat> fairly short majority of that was dystopian. This shelf is urban fantasy, oh, YA dystopian, YA paranormal and um, urban fantasy. Oh my god, my voice. Um, yeah, um, I don't know how else to describe it. So I've got my um, model instrument books right there. Um, I've got Shiver, 
trilogy there. Device, mortal devices. <sighs> Hunger Games, Divergent, Special Edition Hunger Games because I decided to spend money on that. Um, yeah, that's more or less what these two are. And I so I'm sorry for my voice. This has just happened suddenly and I don't know why. I <laughs> a little painful. here. Um, I try to get a shot of the shelf but here are just some more random books. These ones um, as I mentioned earlier with the guy that gave me free books these were in it. I decided to keep it because the covers look pretty. I don't know if I'm ever gonna read them. Um, and then these ones I've got a few Stephen King's here. There was another but I lent it out. Um, and these are just like random books of like my mother's. These two I actually accidentally stole from the library like years ago. Like we completely forgot about them. I think we were moving house at the time so like we borrowed them. Then we kept them in a bag in my mum's wardrobe. Then we moved house still, and they were still in this bag. And then one day if I found them again, I don't know why I was in my mum's wardrobe, but I found them again and I was like, we never returned them. This was like when I was 11, 12. And I had this like whole moral thing in my head. I was like, oh my God, we stole. But they never chased up on it, which is weird because they should have. Um, <clears throat> anyway, moving down the shelf. And as I mentioned earlier, you should, could, be, mm, mm, mm. as you've probably noticed, I've had a lot of knickknacks on the shelves. So, you know, I don't really have any other, oh, so dusty, I don't really have any other place for them. And it's also become the thing where I've decorated my shelves. So I've just kept them as decorated. Anyway, um, this is my poetry collection. It's very small for someone that writes poetry. I don't read much either, which is weird. I should, but I've got my poetry collection there. I've got my, um, a frog just fell. A frog. It's cute though, isn't it? It's a little frog. Okay, I'll put that back. That's Adrienne Rich. I just keep her there because I can't fit any more there this side um reference books again but this time more for writing reference so um we first got some old books that I found in thrift stores like genuinely old books um I don't know when this was but like look how old it is it's let's see if I can find a year um 19 no no um the earliest this could have been the latest the latest I don't know, one of those two words. 1950s, so that this one's pretty kind of ish old. This one though, The War of Worlds. You can't even see that by H.G. Wells. This like looks like it's almost like first edition print. It is not. Um, This is from like 1915. Yeah, it's 1915. So this book 
it's more than a hundred years old, which I think is pretty fantastic. Um, <clears throat> so you got some old books there, and then it's a book about art. Don't know why I was so interested in it. Um, ancient Egypt, uh, thrift find about legacies of Rome. Yep. Um, Time Traveler's Guide to Medieval England. Um, oh, another book that I'll be reading for honours the classics. All you need to know from Zeus's throne to the fall of Rome. Mm, I hope there's so much reading to do. Oh my god, that could have gone so badly. Um, the Heretic Queen, The Ancient Paths. This is like the best thing ever, is the signs and symbols source book and it's got like signs and symbols from every religion that you can think of, um, what flowers mean, what certain animals mean, it's like all these different cultures and it's amazing and then, and bulk, uh, bulk buy, um, an impulse buy. It is a whole book of fairy tales and folklore, and I've got one up there, I'm pretty sure. And it's just so pretty. It's got illustrations. I should actually read it. I'll read, I'll, I'll see if I can read it in the new year. It's so hot in here. Um, and then I've just got little books on environmentalism and humanism. <laughs> Move on to the next shelves. I'm just gonna stand on my tippy toes for this one. And as we get closer to the window, there is more light. Um, so this one is the Harry Potter shelf. Let's see if I can... <laughs> yep, that's all Harry Potter stuff. And so it is the Har Oh my God. It is the Harry Potter shelf. Uh, where was this? It goes there. Hopefully everything stays. Um, I need to put a book away. The next shelf is my Percy Jackson shelf. The, 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 the Percy Jackson um, <laughs> takes up majority of it, so I'm calling it that. But I've also got um, any books basically on mythology. So I've got Greek there, Greek, 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 some Roman. Whoa, so dusty. A random penguin but I suppose it goes next to even though that's a puffin anyway um, Norse mythology and then Greek again I can't get it to sit again. Time to go down a shelf. So this is my YA fantasy. Yay. Um, so Sarah J Maz takes up a good portion of it. This is not straight. I need to put down, put away rather the last book. Um, how am I going to do this?
Yes, so now that the book's away, um, Sarah J Maas, as I mentioned, uh, the selection, Rebel of the Sands, other YA fantasy stuff. I'm pretty sure it's all YA. Um, yes. Um, there's a gap here. There was the rest of my YA slash not YA fantasy stuff. Um, but it is now on the cart. Time to go down again. Maybe this tripod is actually a pain. And now I have to kneel so I can kind of do the three shelves at once. Um, the bottom two are more reference books, but these are the ones that my family have held on to for decades. Um, since their original release. And yeah, we've always just, just had them. We've always, yeah, we they collected them before I was born and now they're in here and they're a solid staple on these shelves and I suppose I could move them to another part of the house so I have more shelf space, but they're just pretty right here. And then the, the and finally, this is the fantasy shelf. Um, this one's kind of empty because I don't have much a fantasy, I suppose. Adult fantasy. There are some YA stuff. Um, but yeah, this is just what I've got, so I've kept it here and haven't added other stuff just to keep it the one genre. I'm pretty sure it's all the one genre anyway. Um, yeah, and then my trinkets again, little tree down here that I painted, and that's that's these shelves. I see if I can. No, that didn't help at all. Anyway, these two shelves here. As I mentioned, this is where the fantasy stuff was, but moved. Have been the trinket shelves, more or less, but then I added books. So I'm gonna make this another fantasy shelf. And I'm gonna shift all of these trinkets up. So that's just a solid trinket shelf. Um, and then there are two more shelves which are literary journals and then we've got a crate of comics and then a crate of zines and and that's it that's the that's the bookshelf tour like there's there's not much else to it like there's a lot but that's it um yeah I'll just shift, I'll just shift everything up now. Are more or less my shelves and yeah thank you for watching hope it was enjoyable have a lovely day <laughs> bye <laughs>